Good morning, y'all. Uh. Good morning, Shaw. going on y'all morning walk take two <laughs> hey yesterday didn't go so good I ain't getting no audio on my walk hey look at that hosta boy it's looking good hey I came out here yesterday cut the grass hey I'm getting everything on and off so much easier now. Backhoe, on and off, no problems. It went smooth. Uh, I don't take off the front loader. I don't park it anymore. I just take off the bucket nowadays. And I just cut the grass with the front loader on, but without the uh, front bucket. So yesterday, check this out, y'all. Also came out, check it out, I'm shooting a time lapse. Uh, went ahead and broke up this rock, y'all. What y'all thinking about that? It's looking good now. Hey, we've been waiting a long time for this. I'm trying to let y'all know. I did it yesterday about 2 o'clock. It's 7 o'clock in the morning, 8 o'clock in the morning now. So that's how much damage is done overnight. I didn't do a time lapse all the time overnight, but I did start it back up around 7 o'clock this morning. So we should be about an hour in, somewhere around there. I also moved some dirt with Penny yesterday and y'all gonna start seeing how far out these videos are now for real cause y'all gonna remember the rock when it gets done and this cause now I'm starting to get projects done it's taking a long time to get that rock out hey but Penny is really doing some work around the yard or helping out I should say I'm doing the work she just there for support alright so Let's get out here and show you what else I did on the trails. Or in the yard, should I say. Because I moved all that dirt back here. I put it in a few different areas. Uh, yesterday, I also wanted to show you all the cicadas that was out yesterday. I guess I can pretty much show you out from anywhere. Because there's all their bodies right there. I don't know if y'all be able to see that or not. But... These cicadas are everywhere now. They will be here soon. Look at that. Same thing that's outside the house. I planted a couple extra ones out here. Oh, yeah. So I got to start checking for this fern that I got you. I got to move these or, or do something with them. But where did I move that dirt? Let's look down here. You hear that? That's a cicada. I put dirt down right here. I'm basically raising this trail up to make it so it's not so muddy. So I'll put some dirt down right there, which will bring that up a little bit, make the water have to go off to the side of the trail, which that's what it does mostly, but it comes down here through, through here sometimes. So I brought a lot of the dirt and I put it in right here. And this raised the trail up significantly, but I got a lot more to do. And then I'll come back once I get it all built up and do it with the box blade now what's going to happen is that means all the water is going to settle right here now and i'm fine with that because once i learn how to trench i'll put a trench across and put a pipe across and make the water go across exactly where i want it to go across instead of it just being a big puddle of water right here so this should keep the ground drier and i'll have to put a pipe across but i'm going to bring more dirt in right here until i raise this whole thing and this will turn into a pond on this side. And then I'll channel it across whenever it's time. I don't know. But that's where I moved all the dirt yesterday. 
and I got a couple other places I want to do the same thing. But let's get out here on this wall. Hey, uh, I just ran into a coyote out here. He took off running that way. I ain't gonna lie, it looked like he was coming towards my yard until he saw me and then he turned around and ran the other direction. I wonder if this field of view is too tight, y'all. Let me know what y'all think. This is a narrow field of view. But what I like about it, it's actually, I'm on the GoPro 9. It's in linear, but it's on auto horizon leveling. Or, yeah, that's what it is. So when I look down and I turn my camera, it stays level. I don't know what y'all saw just now, but I know what I saw in the camera, and I don't know how that looked. We'll see when we get back to the house. Anyway, good morning, y'all. I didn't tell y'all good morning when we walked into the creek, did I? Well, that sounded like a squirrel falling from a tree. <laughs> Hey, well, good morning. No water running over my rock. Oh, that was a squirrel. He's still over there playing. Yeah, buddy. There you go, right there. I don't know. Does this make it so y'all can see better? Because with a narrower field of view, everything is a little bit more focused. I see something up there in the creek. I don't know what y'all can see. Anyway, so, hey, it's a crazy thing. When I be seeing stuff in here and stuff out here and I be stopping, I know I be feeling like, let's keep it going. But it just seems like things are, like if I don't pay attention to what's going on around me, that's the whole point of me. Well, I don't always say that's the whole point of me being out here. But it is. I love to take in everything that's going on around me. But this morning, it seems like there's too much going on around me. I saw a coyote on the way out here this morning. He looked like he was headed back towards my yard. Then he turned around and ran the other direction. Now, I know they're not aggressive. And clearly, he wasn't because he took off running when he saw me. But... I don't know, that's the first time I saw one. Am I out here at a different time than normal? Am I early? Was he headed home and I cut him off? Was he running late this morning? Who knows, but that's the first time I saw him on my walk. I gotta check the time, or he need to check the time. One of the two, oh, what is that? It looked like a balloon. Yep. Looks like a party balloon came down in the creek. Uh, my bad, John. I gotta fix my boots. Hey, these boys are really just turned into morning walks now, haven't they? Shoot, I just come out here and literally just be me. I always be thinking like, what am I going to talk about tomorrow? Man, I figure out what I'm going to talk about when I get out here. Heck, life tell me what I'm going to talk about. Heck, my subscribers, a lot of times, if I read... That's an unfamiliar noise. And it don't sound like it's moving. Oh, somebody about to cut the grass. Okay. They was just sitting still. 
hey, I be thinking I be hearing stuff out here, and I do. And when I can't describe it, and it's like, man, I don't never hear that. I ain't never heard that before. It throw me off, but I just be wondering why some days I be more tuned in than others. Or, I don't know, but today it feels great. Weather feel great. No shirt yet again. Or excuse me. <laughs> I got on my shirt. And yesterday I ran into a young lady out here. She was on the phone and I was joking. I was like, I was like, she was like, uh, maybe that's why the video didn't come out yesterday. Because I was talking about her. We ain't gonna talk about her today. See if my video come out better. <laughs> hey, but yep, I ran into her twice. I just said I wasn't gonna talk about it, didn't I? Let's not talk about it. This is where I ran into it for the first time. <laughs> All right, no more talking about it. They're like, that's why your foot is running out. You ran into somebody else. Didn't pick her up, nope. She did not walk with me. That's why I put out the footage. No, I was just playing. <laughs> ah, that's funny. Yeah, right. <laughs> Who you talking to, Shaw? Mind y'all business. Hey, it's a good morning this morning, y'all. Yesterday, let me tell y'all what I did. I showed y'all a little bit when I walked through the yard. I put Penny to work yesterday. We moved some mud. Played with the backhoe a little bit. What I'm saying is, the backhoe is easy footage for me, y'all. That's why I like the backhoe so much. Hey. I can just put the camera in one place, shoot a video, move the, ca move the camera to another place, shoot another little video. I ain't never have to move no tractor. It's like Penny, stay put. And I can center the camera on her to make sure everything look good. And I can get some work done, playing around, having fun. And it's like playing a video game to me. Oh my goodness. Getting behind the controls of a tractor is like, TractorGamer.com, hey. Oh, that's the thing. I gave away a video game idea yesterday. And that's what it was. That secret was not ready to come out. I put Miles on a mission yesterday. I got Miles and he, he's supposed to be making me a video game. He got 34 years to make it come out. It's going to be two more cicada seasons from now. Yep, that's every 17 years, yeah. So, I gave that idea to Miles, and he gonna run with it. So I can't bring that video back out. Can't tell you that idea today. But we got a new one. Oh yeah. Wait, no, lost that one too. Should have told y'all that one before I told y'all about yesterday. Not shouldn't I? <laughs> hey, but it don't matter. My ideas, they just flow like water. Yep. They turn the ice, that's when they get harder. Uh-huh. Hide your wife, hide your daughters. <laughs> uh, I'm not. Neither one of the Carters. Uh-huh. Yep, because I go harder. <laughs> oh yeah, just wait. I'm coming, baby. Y'all don't see me coming down. Hey, it's a good morning, ain't it? Hey, somebody send this tape to one of them too. Tell them they need to sit out of the table with me. We need to talk. Uh-huh. I ain't asking for theirs. There's plenty of room at the top, baby. You ain't got to make room. <laughs> you ain't got to make room at the top. I be telling that to people all the time. People always worried about who ahead of them and where they at. What I'm saying is, what I say, y'all, look at the ground. Look at the sky. Which one look bigger? What I'm saying is, who said it ain't enough room at the top for everybody? <laughs> everybody fit on this earth. <sighs> well, yeah, I see it. You look up, it's enough room for everything up there. Heck, it's much bigger up there. Much, much bigger. Hey, I'm feeling real good this morning. I ain't get much sleep last night. Maybe that's the problem. Hey, I like, I can tell. 
Shaw, you ain't talking about nothing this morning. Hey, get on your way. You have a nice day. I ain't got nothing more I need to say. Shoot. If you don't want to be with me, that's okay. <laughs> Whoa. I saw something over there shimmering and glistening. Uh-huh. I thought y'all might not have been listening. <laughs> hey, what I'm saying is, I do. I just come out here and I have a good time with my walks. What I'm saying is, the point is for me to have a good time. Not to stress over whether y'all liking my content. Y'all know how to just give me a thumbs down and move on? Goodness. Hey, who ever tells a person to give them a thumbs down? What I'm saying is, just tell me how you feel. Keep it real. That's the only deal I feel. Uh-huh. Don't bluff with me. Don't think it's too tough for me. Don't be scared to take it rough on me. Uh-huh. I don't know anything that rhymes with that. <laughs> hey, your boy be having fun when he come out to the creek. It's like I be a kid. Wanting to splash around. I love the way that it sound. Never trying to be no clown. Look at the fish that I found. You fall in the water, you might drown. Oh my goodness. This junk is so profound. What? Is that a mound? Mound of what? Mound of rocks, baby. Where you think we at? I had a rock in my sock, baby, this morning. I had to pull off my boot. I'll be out here playing like a kid, acting like a pirate out there searching for loot. Uh-huh. Ooh, just the other day. Matter of fact, it was yesterday. In one of the neighborhoods in my old area, somebody did a shooting yesterday, y'all. Hey, and it was a young lady who died. Stuff like that don't really happen where I come from. I'm saying not on a regular basis. It's like, there's really no reason for stuff like that to be happening no matter how hard the search circumstances are. To me, it sounded like a dispute or I don't know I don't want to I don't want to guess but then they said the subject went home and burned his house down it's like dang a woman got killed you burned down your home afterwards hmm. bet you're more of a suspect now goodness and the sad thing is why what could have been so bad And those are questions that will be, well, no, they won't be left unanswered. He's a suspect, and I'm sure they have him in custody. All right. You know, where I come from is not that type of place, but I ain't going to say it don't ever happen, but it don't happen often. And most of the time, it just be shots in the air. When I say most of the time, I'm saying I only heard it happen like three times in my life. Maybe four. Maybe four. No, I can't say it's been shots in the air. Shoot. It's always been some kind of dispute, but seen between two people in a household. Man. Hey, I don't know what I'm talking about this morning. I have no information on the subject. I was just telling you about my day yesterday. So if you were looking for a word, I don't know if it could be heard. But I would say, if you're in a situation where you fear for your life, um, do what's best for your life. And I don't have no words for that. I don't know what that means. But find help. I wish I could advocate for something like that, but I don't know. But I would say, your life is too important to stick around. So be on your way. Because it seems like things like that do happen more than, man, more than expected. Heck, anytime is too often. 
Well, I tell you, I ain't come out here to talk about this this morning. But I guess that's what was put on my heart. So I'm telling you, take care of yourselves because others will not take care of you like you take care of yourself. If that's the message that was meant to be heard today, hey, I hope that it's heard today. Hey, good morning, y'all. Oh, hey, see? I told you I came out here to have fun and that hit my mind and now I can't unwind. Got a tightness in my spine. It's like, man, everything would have just been fine. <laughs> man. Yep, yeah, there goes a squirrel. It's one of a kind. You got my head all shifted and twisted. Oh, look. Somebody left me. Again, man, these squirrels be trying to get me all shook. Oh, yeah. Hey, today been one of them days. I don't know. Maybe it is. Maybe that's the key for me. Man, that's a big fish. Oh, it ain't that big. But they the biggest ones I've seen. Uh-huh, don't worry. I'm gonna bring my whole team down here one day. Yep, they're gonna clean this creek out. <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm just playing, but it's gonna be a hit. They're gonna be eating the spiders too. Uh, yesterday I found a football out here in the creek. Well, it wasn't in the creek, it was on the trail. But I carried it the whole time. I think that's another reason why that video didn't come out. Who I told to send me money. Uh-huh. Mm -mm, nope. I won't do any more jokes about them because clearly all those jokes got shut down. It's like like I be getting censored by the man above. He like, nope, that video you put out yesterday, it will not see the light of day today. It saw it, but it will not be heard because not a lick of that was my word. I'm like, dang, I thought that sounded absurd, but not from, from who I heard. <laughs> I'm saying if he say it, that's what it is. Uh, that's how I feel. I'm, I'm just saying that's how I feel. Boy, and if you can hear him say something, you better listen. Because if you don't, you'll come up missing. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You heard him say do that, and you didn't do it. Oh, you blew it. Yeah, that's how I be feeling. Mm-hmm. Uh-oh. What do I be talking about? Sometimes I be saying stuff and I be forgetting. People could take that just any old kind of way. I be wishing they just be listening to the words that I say. Uh-huh, I be doing this for free. That mean I don't do it for no pay. I be trying to do things to help out and show y'all the right way. That way it look good. But we've been there before, so we know it ain't that way. Look, there go Woody again. Y'all hear him? Wow, Woody. You did that what? Just to throw me off? I asked him to listen to you, and you just what, flew off on me? That's how we doing? Come on. Hey. Now tell me, can y'all see them better with this small view? Because they out here chirping like crazy. That's that noise I heard in the creek. That. I never heard squirrels chirp like that before. I didn't know they chirped like that until I just heard them all chirping at once. That was a herd of squirrels chirping. It had to be like, I don't know, maybe between six and 10 of them just there right now. I don't know if y'all could hear them. The camera's facing me and I was facing them. So, uh, you know how that goes. It's like that creek. I'm trying to give y'all better video. Cause I'm like, if I can give y'all close ups, then that way y'all would at least see the deer. Cause boy, I get tired of seeing stuff and y'all missing it. Every time I see something, I'll be like, look, except for when I see a turtle. <laughs> when I see a turtle, hey, are you a turtle? 
You bet your sweet ass I am. Who said that? Oh, well, we ain't going into that one today. Nope. My mind, it don't want to play. What do you mean? I mean, it got nothing to say. Hey, bruh. Okay, just be on your way. Thank you. You're so polite. <laughs> I love it. I just don't want to fight. What? Nothing. It's all right. What are you talking about, bruh? Man, just keep going. It's all right. Okay, 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 okay. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. <laughs> oh, I feel like I could do that all day. But somebody might feel I'm crazy for real. I'm mean, like, you know the deal. Your boy ain't crazy. He's just trying to steal. Steal what, y'all? The show. The show? Yeah. You know. And that dude playing my part. It's funny. Oh, yeah. But he ain't playing it right. No, I'm just playing. Nope. Not me. He was watching the Upshaws again. Yup. My next to Ken. Yup. Get up, Shaw. That's right. Skill hands at work. Hey, so I didn't switched up my logo I ain't switched it up but I got a new one about to be putting it on t-shirts thinking about selling some t-shirts on Amazon because really we ain't finding much else no more I have had some things sell I haven't given y'all an update on that I had some puzzles on there don't know if any of y'all bought them but if y'all did thank you all the puzzles sold out thank you yeah but now I got an issue even though I sold everything and I made a $10 profit off each one, I still owe Amazon money. Ain't that funny? Oh, yeah. I said, what's up to Sonny? Dave, what's going on, man? I ain't seen you in a minute. Hope you're doing good. Hey, so what I'm saying is things are moving on Amazon, but I haven't really been. Uh-huh. I know you over there. I hear you. I haven't been moving much on Amazon. But I did move some stuff, which was good. Four things have sold at a minimum. And we keep going to look for new items, but we can't. The thing is now, and there we go with a bunch of water again. Bringing water down here. Just cup your hands together. Hope you choke on some bacteria. No, I'm just joking. That was the wrong thing to say. No, I don't wish wrong to anybody. Don't want anybody to choke on anything, not even bacteria. But please, stop throwing your bacteria down in the water. Or near the water, for that matter. Okay, so, what I'm saying is, Amazon, until I find a product that I can sell on a regular, it's going to be rough. It's going to be tough. It's going to be full of a bunch of junk and stuff. Because everything that I put up is just things that I can find randomly. But I'm saying is, when you're trying to get started, you have to get started by any means necessary. You can't just wait around for the perfect moment. I'm saying, when you start up a business of some sort, it's going to be a time where you're going to be missing on money. You're going to lose. You got to learn how to endure those times when you're going to lose and see how long you can stand to lose for before you feel like it's time to start taking some wins. What I'm saying is, hey, I want to thank everybody who be rocking with me on YouTube. I know I'm jumping subjects, but that's because we're bringing this to a close. Yep. I'm starting to have to wipe my nose. I'm getting all emotional out here. No, I'm just playing. Hey, so listen to what I'm saying. I want to thank everybody who's been rocking with me because I'm starting to see way, way more comments on my videos, which that means my videos are starting to pick up. I know I'm talking to the right people right now because this is the end of the video. And hey, only a select few make it this far. Hey, you know who you are. Hey, it's because of you, your boy starting to feel like a star. I ain't never gonna let y'all down. At least I don't feel like it. I'm gonna always be doing my best. I don't feel like I'm gonna change. What I'm saying is I don't even know what changing looks like. So if y'all feel like I'm changing, y'all let me know. But for now, y'all let me go. I'm gonna be back out here tomorrow if everything goes as it's supposed to. I hope for the same for y'all. I appreciate y'all. Much respect, much love. And what I'm saying is y'all already letting me know what y'all doing for the day. Keep on letting me know. I appreciate it because it's because of y'all. Hey, you know who you are. I appreciate you, brother. Hey, it's several of y'all. But I'm saying, <laughs> hey, some people make this easier to want to come out here and do stuff like this because I feel like I can talk to them just like a friend. And then there's going to be some people who are going to jump in and out. And what I'm saying is, 
Hey, it's the loyal. It's the loyal that stick with you to the end. And what I'm saying is, those are the people I call my next to Ken. Hey, I appreciate y'all. Y'all just like family to me. I'm going to give y'all my best every day. It ain't about these morning walks. These morning walks just the way that I relate with y'all. What I'm saying is, I'm doing it for the videos. I'm doing it for my creative mind. I'm doing it to make myself better. I'm doing it to try and help other people see. Hey, what I'm saying is, people call me a, just a normal person and say, ah, oh, this is just a normal guy doing normal things. And what I'm saying is, if I'm so normal, why people keep tuning in? Why people keep subscribing? What I'm saying is it ain't nothing normal about us, people. There's nobody else that's like us. And what I mean by us is you. I'm saying you special too in everything that you do. You got to know that. Only difference is I'm willing to show my failures. And that's what people wanted to see. People want to see your failures. But then what I'm saying is some people ain't going to tune into my failures. And they're going to see me when I know how to use Penny. And I'm saying I didn't get Penny to be a tractor guy. I got Penny so I can get more subscribers. Yes, that's exactly why I did it. Well, no, I got Penny because I wanted to do more yard work. I just saw the benefit. Hey, what I'm saying is, I know everybody who here ain't here for me, but if you rocking with me through these morning walks, I know you are because you helped me get this far. And I appreciate y'all. Hey, this your boy, much respect, much love. This your boy and I'm out.